This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Here it is, folks. Higarashi when they cry once again. You know, I kind of wish that the uh, text that didn't have a background on it was easier to read. But I don't really know how to, how to fix that for OBS. Whoops. Yes, that was the water I drank. So we're starting Chapter 3 of Higarashi when they cry. Uh, I did a little bit of a recap on chapters 1 and 2 beforehand. So, chapter 1 was basically, Keiichi is in this this new small town, he makes good friends, you know, they have a blast. He then learns about the, the town's creepy past, and basically every year since this damn incident where the foreman got, like, murdered in December, once a year, like, somebody gets murdered and somebody disappears which is kind of weird. And then basically in each of these chapters, it seems like it's similar like setting and characters, but with like one thing different. So like the main difference between chapter one and two was chapter one, Shion was not a thing. And in chapter two, all of a sudden Mion now has a twin sister named Shion. I'm not sure if Shion is the enigma that she only exists in chapter two, or if the enigma is she did not exist in chapter one. But for one, it, it seems like each chapter, it's like a parallel universe, but with like one thing different. That's kind of what I'm, that's my current theory right now, so it'll be interesting to see how Chapter 3 differs in that regard. Uh, the other difference is that each chapter, it seems like different characters go crazy. So in Chapter 1, it was like Rena and Mion and Keiichi who went crazy, and then in Chapter 2, it was Mion and Shion who went crazy? So I'm. It sounds like maybe uh, this time Satoko is going to go crazy. That's at least what I'm. what I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, because, like, chapter one, Keiichi was suspicious of people keeping secrets from him, and as it turns out, like, they were completely insane, and, like, Rena started stalking him, and then killed him, or no, he killed her and Mion, and then he clawed his own throat out, which is, uh, that's, that's not something you want to ha have. In chapter two, it was, like, uh, so, main takeaways, there were, th like, the three head families of Hinamizawa, uh, the distant past in, like, the town, there's, like, a legend that there were actual demons in the town, and that, like, the people in the town now are descendants of, like, humans and demons, which is kind of weird. Uh, there was also, like, a lot of really creepy, like, ritual torture stuff that happened in the past, apparently. So that was, that was weird. Uh, then it was revealed that kind of Mion was behind a lot of that at the end. I'm still not convinced it was Mion. I still think it was Shion. It was kind of hinting towards that, since Shion admitted to kidnapping the mayor at one point there. And they also mentioned that, like, oh, Shion, like, fell out of the window of her apartment, but also Mion fell to her death here at, like, the same time. So it's like, did one of them kill the other? Not really sure. I'm still up in the air, but I still don't trust Shion. I still think she was kind of the mastermind of Chapter 2, not Mion. But I don't know that for sure. Uh, other weird mysteries at the end of Chapter 2. Uh, Rena apparently had a syringe on her in her skirt pocket, which was weird before she got like kidnapped and killed by quote-unquote Mion. And the other dead end, uh, open-ended thing was that apparently Takano may have faked her death. So I definitely don't trust Takano now. Uh, that's, I think, kind of the highlights of the last couple chapters, if I've missed anything and, or forget something. If I forget something from a previous chapter that I should know, please feel free to remind me. Do not spoil anything I am not supposed to know, though. So, without further ado, uh, let's start. Okay. Ooh. Let's go to Tarigarashi, the shortest scenario. Really? The curse-killing chapter... Man, curse, or coincidence? How are the conjectures inside you solidifying? I look forward to whether those conjectures will waver or become a cornerstone in this scenario. The difficulty is the worst. You will probably not even be able to make conjectures. <laughs> what? So is so this is so basically they're telling us this is going to be the shortest chapter, but it's also going to be the most confusing. Great. <laughs> Oh, that that's creepy. Also, turn off the lights, everybody. 
I'm playing in the dark, so should you. The snake in the wall was happy, or in the well was happy, for it did not care what was outside the well. The snake in the well was happy, for it had naught to do with what happened outside the well. And you were happy too, for you did not know what happened outside the well. Frederica Bernkastel. Okay. Huh. Hey, GX, welcome. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons or organizations is entirely coincidental. A wink. AD 1983, the early summer of the 58th year of the Shoah era. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go. It was a very humid day. Not even a slight breeze was blowing. It had been an unpleasant summer, one that wasn't only hot, but swelteringly so. There were various articles of clothing hung out to dry in the messy apartment windows, but the lack of wind evoked an impression far removed from coolness. In fact, it only felt more oppressive. There were crooked houses and apartment buildings lining the narrow, twisting road. In addition, there were planters and flower pots whose contents were beginning to wilt, as well as bicycles and motorcycles on the sides of the road, making it even more cramped, more oppressive, and all the more sweltering. Nobody who was in this place at this time was visiting it voluntarily. But in spite of what everyone might expect, a single motorcycle came rolling in. Oh no, not the motorcycle gain. The lone motorcycle, which wouldn't be called neat even as flattery, pulled up into a two-story apartment complex and stopped there. A man, fairly old and wrinkled, stepped off. I'm still young enough to ride the motorcycles, kids. When the housewife handing out the laundry noticed him, she called out. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we all have days like that. So, so, yes, uh-oh, did someone microwave their trout for lunch again? Oh, did somebody microwave their trout for breakfast and just left it in the microwave? <laughs> That's right, you recently came back from Japan. Nice. Congratulations, it sounded like a lot of fun. And yeah, I think Hinami, at least Hinamizawa is based on a real town. It's not called that, so... May, hey, maybe like the outskirts here are also based on real-life locations. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Yeah, landlord, you gotta do it. <laughs> Are they, like, together, or is he just being kind of creepy? Guess it's not really important. There was an unhygienic drainage channel running behind the apartment. The lattice from which it flowed was stuffed with branches and fallen leaves, and when filth got caught up in them, it created an awful stench in the summertime. <laughs> Sticks are so nice. The man crossed the fence over the drainage channel and picked up a filthy drying pole sitting nearby. He must have planned to stick it into the drain and clear it out. <laughs> you know these two characters are not important because they don't have their own sprites. This guy likes to laugh, like that Mary Poppins song. He shoved the drying pole into the filth in the lattice. Of course, it did nothing to help the accumulation of waste. Yeah! Oh, no! No! Oh, no, that sucks. Pretty much anything that's dead smells awful. 
こうみぶくろにふるぎにまあいろいろすててあるねあのアヒルおまるでねえのこりゃくさいわぎゃしょうがないねえまったく The drainage channel was already unsanitary. What was a little more garbage at this point? The stream of such imp imprudent people was never ending, and now the channel had turned into a garbage dump. When he poked the pile of old clothes floating in the sewage, a black cloud of smoke floated out in the water. The two of them grimaced at the terribly bizarre and repulsive sight. <laughs> oh no, not maggots. Suck. <laughs> おやさん、なんね、あれ。なんよ、こんないの、捨てたんは。あ、あ。な、ten minutes in and we have two deaths。それ。Uh oh。え。Oh no。Knuckles, can you please look for the master emerald pieces somewhere else? Come on. Was it an actual dead body? Let's go to some of this. Hey, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to What is this? Why are we getting this music for when we discover a dead body? <laughs> like, this sounds like this sounds too upbeat for it. Like, oh, we just discovered a rotting corpse in the trash. Oh, great. I hope she was. This is morbid. I hope she was dead before she was thrown in the bag and tossed into the sewer. So they got hold of it. Who can't get on the show? Well, it's, it's not a bad place to dispose of a body, I guess. Well, that's true. So, so you know, can cut the knock to Sundan. Stay cock skin and Hannah got a name there. This is the fan OST remake. Okay, uh. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is the one from 2022? It sounds like exactly the same. That also sounds like exactly the same. Okay, uh, so there's actually just two different songs. Honestly, uh, this one, so this family, it replaces the nine BGM with handmade remakes. Yeah, this is way better music. Advanced options, the new soundtrack, or the, I don't know, again, I don't know what any of these options mean, so I'm gonna go with the one that actually seems to have just better music. <laughs> Or more fitting, because this this definitely fits much better than. <laughs> Hope it's not Takano. Uh, I mean, it could be. Oh, that's what they do at the weird festival stuff. So, to had any Nijime Korostin, though, for Chugok Mafia took an odento taking a sesani, coin or unjano. Yonkano Shigasani, Marbo, the trouble in a car to get. Oh, Grimasa. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to get cut open and had my insides dragged out as my way of dying. Nice on no zoiter cocono kanji. Okay. 
勘弁してくださいよ<笑>超引きずり出されて耳鼻そぎ落とされてグロスこういう死に方はしたくねえよな指がむごいよな両手両指にゴスンクにはびっしり打たれてる Oh, yeah, that's literally exactly what quote unquote m i o n tried to do to us at the end of chapter 2. Or was she strapped us to the torture thing and was gonna put a bunch of nails in our, thing, on our fingers? Well, Higurashi win the cry. Okay. I guess that's a way to open up. I was gonna say, normally the chapters start fairly lighthearted and then delve into the horror stuff, but maybe not. <laughs> the most relaxing time during the school day? Lunch, for sure. Okay, this is. This text box is not what it normally is. Where's the text box settings? Text window, uh... That's it! Okay. I was wondering why the text boxes were so weird. Now this is how it used to look. There we go. The most relaxing time during school day? Lunch for sure. Everyone brought their desks side by side, like always, and we all ate together. There they are! Yeah, you're, you're reusing CGs. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Satoko and Rika-chan looked at Mion's lunch, shouting gladly. Let's have a look. Whoa! Hi, Mion. I don't trust you. <laughs> Basically, I feel, I feel like each chapter is going to be a different one of the members. So first it was Rena, then Mion, now Satoko, and probably the next one will be Rika. And it's going to be how they each go crazy. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> それで残り物を追加取っておいたってわけ。それでお酒のおつまみみたいなおかずが多いんだね。うん。残り物。つまりは残飯とはいえ、これだけ綺麗に弁当箱に収められてると、なかなかの迫力があるな。プレゼンテ
Some people are some people are good at making lunch. What can I say? Lingo no usagi san toka. Ninjin no hanabira toka san. Oh, she's doing all the fancy like YouTube Instagram stuff. All right. Rena's bento wasn't all about taste. It was like, hmm, like she always puts her heart into it or something. It wasn't just good. It made your insides all nice and warm. <laughs> it's it's mostly about texture and taste. その意味でだったら私なんか足元にも及ばないって。ミオン cooks with hate. Love, huh? Yeah. Just from looking at her bento, I could definitely feel that Rena put her heart and soul into making it. That's what her bento was like. お弁当ってのは味だけでなく見た目も大事ってことですわね。私たちも見習わないといけませんわね。おお。で、その見習わなくちゃならないサトコたちの弁当はどうだ。Kichi's gonna be like, I put rice and meat together, and they're like, well, you know, Kichi, yours kind of sucks. You have to go and wear a dress now. It's what? <laughs> What's a bento without meat? These ones too. They had such an impact. They were bursting at the seams with grilled meat. That's the one I want. At a glance, it was too impactful for a girl's bento. But when you thought about eating it with all your friends, it brought more than enough color to the table. Eh? So that's not a type of bento to me. Say, get it. Mion, you can have your dainty little rice bento, and I'll eat steak. Horenso no ohitashi to ka, hijiki no nimono to ka. Rika-chan wa kouyu kidoranai kate ryori ga totemo jōzu nan da yo ne. Hmm, Rika-chan wa shōrai lippa na oyume san ni nareru to omou yo. Mirai no danna sama o wa shizukami na no desu. All right then, Rika. A husband for Rika-chan, huh? At first, that sounded appealing. It did. But I felt like a married life with her would be anything but normal. She's also like 12, so I'm pretty sure that would be breaking a law somewhere. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries at all. <laughs> I mean, hey, if there's ever a time, it's probably now. But really, everyone was amazing. They were all so young, and yet they're all capable of cooking for themselves. I would sort of cook whatever when I, or whenever I went camping with my family, but making lunch every day was a level I definitely couldn't reach. I could only really cook in my spare time. When I thought about it like that, it made everyone stand out more. Frankly, I respected them. Hmm? Huh? I feel like maybe this doesn't only apply to other people. Come to think of it, this morning, when I was eating breakfast half asleep, I think my mom was saying something really important. Uh... Oh. With a hysteric groan, I suddenly stood up, startling everyone at once. Uh-oh. Satoko, you gotta lay off the cigarettes, alright? Watch out! <laughs> I'd forgotten. All this stuff about cooking for yourself, it applied to me too. <laughs> Earlier. Keiichi, Otoosan to Okaasan ne, Mata o shimoto de Tokyo ni itte konak cha nara nai no. Hmm, so. Hmm, nemu. Otoosan no sensei ni atare hito ga ne, Event no chokzen de taore chatta no. Uh oh, looks like Dad Ichi has got to step up. <laughs> oh, yes! Well, Dad does what he has to do for his job. That sounds annoying. <sighs> It's okay. We got Stouffer's French bread pizzas, TM, so we're good. Keiichi, are you okay? Okay, okay. I'm okay. If you get me, I can do anything. So? Well, I'm fine. I'll eat a little bit, right? 
お味噌汁も作れるわよね<笑> Man does not live on rice alone あとは適当にお惣菜を買ってくればご飯らしくなるから A meal? Yeah Yeah, I can cook rice with my camping kit Never used a rice cooker before It's pretty easy <laughs> I've only ever made instant miso soup that you make in a pot of boiling water, too. Well, I'll think of something. True! Based K. Based Mom. Yep, yep. I'll get by. I'll get by. <laughs> His friends are going to be very confused. What was I thinking? I was half asleep and I made such crazy empty promises? Just like manga characters always do at times like these, I bent over backwards and scratched furiously at my head. Scratch. Oh no, he's overreacting like an anime character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your parents have a not you. <laughs> Suck it up, Keiichi. Your parents have a harder time than you. Keiichi, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rena does most of the cooking for her family, too. Keiichi, cooking's not even hard. You know what? She's got a point. Keiichi, <laughs> in the last timeline, didn't you, like, make the worst curry in the world but somehow convinced a bunch of people that it was the best? <laughs> Just do that for yourself. Yes, you can. It's not gonna be fun, but you can. Curry is not junk food. You can add vegetables as like a side dish. Mion and Satoko put their hands over my mouth. Uh oh. Oh, yep. A moment later, the door rattled open, and Chi Sensei, a known curry maniac, suddenly poked her head in. Uh oh, folks. <laughs> uh oh. She doesn't look very happy! Uh, no teacher. No teacher. I was. I nef no, I would never say anything about like that. <laughs> Everyone's faces went totally white, and they all shook their heads in denial. Her eyes rolled over the classroom. Her glare wasn't just a teacher's ordinary stare. <laughs> it's never the wind! Why is that like a trope where somebody's like, Did somebody, did I hear something? No, nah, it must have just been the wind. It is never just the wind. I don't know why that's like a thing. <laughs> Keiichi just should just go to 7-Eleven for every meal. Didn't his mom just say he should not do that? She's like, hey, we've got rice here. We've got stuff here. <laughs> Artie's fictional wife. Uh, no. I jest. It's more just... She's probably the... The teacher's probably the best-looking character in the cast. That That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Alright, uh, and then she went back to the teacher's lounge. I may have been shouting, but for her to hear it all the way from across the hall in the teacher's lounge, that teacher is terrifying. Maybe she's got the room bugged. That's what I said. But still, I can't have curry for every meal. And cup ramen is good because you can only eat it once in a while. If you ate it for every meal, you'd get bored of it pretty quickly. Rice and miso soup, and a good side dish. Yes, that's what a Japanese table should look like. That's it? Where's the protein in that? Where's the meat? Yeah, she's got a point. Well, I mean, it, it depends on your attitude towards it. It also depends on what you make. And also, if you make it for somebody who appreciates it, that makes it even better. Like, 
Ma making a pie just for yourself, like, yeah, it'll last a long time. But making a pie for your family and they're like, this is so good. And like, they're like just eating it ravenously. That, that's a really good feeling. そう、そう。人生何事も経験でございましたよ。True. Good! Maybe learning now wouldn't be so bad. I'm pretty uneasy about it, but... そうだな。この辺で多少の料理くらい得得しておかないと、今度部活で料理勝負になった時が辛い。Miso Miso soup is automatically included in your meal when you go to restaurants in Japan. Oh, it's like bottomless tortilla chips when you go to a Mexican restaurant in the States. <laughs> Whenever she does that laugh, something bad's about to happen. そうですわね。she just referenced something that happened in the last timeline. As if scorning me, Satoko ridicules my comeback from a homeless situation in a certain do or die curry showdown. This is this is literally what happened last time. Oh, this so either the exact same curry thing happened in this timeline too, or this is somehow Maybe like the timeline splits part way through chapter two? I don't I don't know. This is all just theory. I relapsed into my grudge over the last curry showdown. For now I calmed my unquellable anger by pinching Satoko's ears. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, Rika seems like she's got her act together. Satoko seems like she tries to act like she has her act together. There's a difference. We are not the same. Rika is brutally honest. Oh, Satoko, you're gonna turn the house into a gas bomb! Everyone burst into laughter. Everyone screenshot that. I have a feeling it's, we're gonna come back to that. <笑>カップラーメンばかり食べてる人に言われたくありませんわ。でもでも、さとこちゃんもそこそこにはお料理とかできるんだよ。いいぞ、レナ。こんな奴のためにわざわざフォローなんかしてやることはないんだぞ。
Maybe she is colorblind, but e again, even so, they are different textures. But that can change. There's also an age gap between the two of you, so I'm not sure how impressive that is, their KG. なんですって。急に子供会って自信があるとは語られたくて笑っちゃいますわ。こう見えても私、リカと交代でご飯をちゃんと作ってますよ。So like Satoko is being a bit more like defensive and and less like I don't want to say bratty, but like I feel like she's kind of arrogant in the previous chapter where she's just like, "Ha ha ha, you suck. I'm going to do great." And now she's just like, "No, I'm not bad. Like I can do this." ちゃんと自炊ぐらいできるんでございますからね。I patted Satoko on the head while I made fun of her. You, you're, you're being kind of a dip this timeline, Keiichi. Satoko seemed to know I was making fun of her too, since her face went bright red very quickly and steam started to pour out like she was a kettle. Yeah, I feel like in the previous two chapters she would have been resorting to violence by this point, but here she's like, yeah, she's just like getting upset. Maybe she's on the spectrum? I mean, I don't know. We already know what this is going to devolve into. It's going to be a oh, club activity. Everyone cooks. Whoever does the worst has to kill themselves. Who? You know, it's a fun punishment game. Why are they constantly narrowing in on this? Okay, yeah, she is colorblind. Wait a second, I don't think we've ever seen this sprite on her before. Uh, what are the... Okay. Lip sync on, lip sync off. No, 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 what are the buttons to switch between the graphic styles real quickly? That's what I want to know. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, P! P is what you do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, be, 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 be. <laughs> looks like she's trying- Looks like on this one she's gonna sock us in the face right here. That's interesting. <laughs> and here it looks like she's going into a kung fu pose. That's- <laughs> Alright, that's uh... It's interesting. I gotta, I gotta say, I do like the console art style for Satoko in particular better than the new graphics, but I like the new graphics for pretty much everyone else. <laughs> I mean, apples and pears, again, very different texture and very different flavor. <sighs> Can, can she, why, is, why are you sucking so much? Like, she's actually trying to be nicer this time around, so let's let's celebrate that. My gosh, she sucks. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh no! I can't punch people. <laughs> Oh, it was nothing to cry hysterically about. She's so... I'm not saying that cute. I stroked her head as hard as I could. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle! <laughs> Why is Mion talking through her teeth? Also, I love how it's like... <laughs> it's like... Keiichi bullying a girl that's like four years younger than him. The teacher, I sleep. Keiichi insulting Curry, the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> like, like sprinting in. <laughs> Remarked Mion, who gave me just a slightly mean smile. Actually, well, I had no confidence at all in my cooking. Then why are you being such a dip? <laughs> but the situation carried me along, and I decided to deliver an impressive declaration. Ma, 
That's a... <laughs> Damn, I don't know about that one, Keiichi. Scotty, okay, you cook the Astor Bento in Stekurka. So they omit the Koshion's Gasgay. So they were Tanoshimina no des. Astor no Bento Gamachido Shino des. Rikachan petted me on the head. Meh, her words of can't wait sounded so transparent. Lena mo Tanoshimini stern, eh? Donna no scutic demo. Oh, oh, the real question, folks, is Rena on her meds this time or not? Oh, that's not what I want. <laughs> I want this one that sounds exactly the same. <laughs> Look at that smug smile. See, I knew this was gonna happen. See, I knew it. Okay, Th this punishment is gonna be something really stupid. <laughs> it's like, uh, it it's gonna be something not quite as extreme as like physical pain, but it's gonna be like you're gonna absolutely humiliate yourself beyond recognition. So Tucker wiped her tears and snarled at me, as if this was her chance to turn things around. Uh, maybe this is bad? Yeah, if you're gonna talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. I feel like maybe this conversation's getting pretty out of hand. Oh, if I apologize, now's my chance? What What came out of my Keiji Maibaro's mouth that was a statement so reckless it even frightened me? Ah, it's <laughs> She's gonna be watching YouTube videos all night, like how to make good bento. Just following all of these Instagram people. <laughs> Everyone raised their voices in surprise at my bold, confident reply. Ah, oh, now I've done it. What have I done? I'm so irresponsible. Satoko grinned fearlessly. As if to say that it was already decided, I'd be playing said Fantastic Punishment game. <laughs> oh, an insult curry to her face. Alright! No, I could do that. <laughs> That's a good way to get expelled. <laughs> Everyone went pale and gasped at how truly terrifying the punishment game was. Chi Sensei was a such a maniac about curry that she'd risk her life for it. And to go up to her and start saying bad things about curry, what kind of fate would await us? Just trying to imagine it was scary. And as everyone looked blankly amazed at how terrifying the punishment game was, Rika Chan spoke. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna have to do it. <laughs> I'm not worried. Rena and Mion and Satoko. Everyone nodded deeply in agreement. Motomo, <laughs> その返りを本の少しだけ見せてやるから楽しみにしているよ。あれだけの身を切ったんですのよ。いや、です。これでとんでもないのを作っちゃったらどうなるかわかってるんでございましょうね。へへへへ。佐藤こそ明日千恵先
ケイちゃん男だねこんなの男なんて言いませんのよただの無鉄砲って言いますのよ自分もお料理なんかろくろくできないくせにいらんのよねぐんにー What is going on? It's like 16 year old guy and it's like 12 year old girl are pulling each other's cheeks レナは信じてるからね素敵なお弁当楽しみにしてるよ Rena on her meds is too nice for this world <laughs> 僕も明日のケイチがとても楽しみなのですよ Their expectant gazes were painful. I was just trying to tease the Toko a little. How did it come to this? Well, you know, you were, you were probably bullying her, actually. <laughs> Keiichi's brain is now a separate entity from him. Ah! How? How am I able to say such reckless things? I'm being so unreasonable. What the heck is going to happen to my dinner? <laughs> and the Bento showdown tomorrow? No, more importantly, if they make me say bad things about Kuri to Chi Sensei's face, what'll happen to me? The extreme contrast between my outward bravado and my internal screaming continued as the hot and humid June afternoon dragged on. I thought he'd just like burst out of the wall, like the Kool Aid guy. <laughs>